thanks to all the parents who helped all of these young people to complete their education. Thanks to the educators, thanks to the whole community, and thanks to all the sponsors. We will have a nice evening. It's going to be short and brief and beautiful. We will begin the dinner right now, and we will also open the event, the evening, with a uh, statement of wisdom from our chef, Jamal No, the Imam of Masjid Abu Bakr Siddiq side of Columbus, a beautiful institution that is a hub for young Somalis and all Somalis alike. I've said Columbus is fortunate to have you. Welcome. Horsed is the director of Masjid Abu Bakr as Siddiq. Bismillah um, alhamdulillah wa salam ala Sidna Muhammad wa ba'd. First of all, I would like to uh, thank Lord Almighty for enabling us to come together for the eighth time, I believe. And I really want to congratulate for the organizers and the founders of this amazing and noble event, uh, Consistency, mashallah. And I want to say congratulations for the young brothers and sisters, 2017. Um, and I also would like to thank from the bottom of my heart their parents. I always believe that there is a mother and a father, of course, behind every successful child. Um, having said that, I would like to take this opportunity and say a few words to everyone, especially my young brothers and sisters. See, life is all about making choices. The choices we make today will be our future tomorrow. The readers of today will be the leaders of tomorrow. And that's why the first verse God Almighty revealed was Iqra, you know, read and recite, because the readers of today will be the leaders of tomorrow. Um, and again, life is all about making the good choices. Um, you know, gang violence, terrorism, extremism are all making the wrong choices of life. When you grow, life will teach you lessons. There is a story in the Quran that always inspired me, and I'm sure it's mentioned in other scriptures. The story of the two sons of Adam, Qabil and Habil. One of them believed goodness, had a hope. He knew that there was a purpose behind his creation. He wanted to be someone who contributes positively to his society. And the other one, believe different. He was filled with hate and jealousy. And the tradition says, you know, a fire would come from the sky, the heaven, and would eat their offering. So one day what happened was the fire came and it ate the offering of Kabil. And Habil became jealous. And because of that, Abel came. Thank you very much. Dr. Abdunur is always a blessing to have. That's why I'm always next to him, my mentor, mashallah. Um, so he became jealous, and that pushed him to resort to violence and kill his brother. And that is why, from today, one of them left a beautiful legacy behind, and the other one was shamed in the Quran, if you read the Quran. So this tells us that life is all about making the right choices. And this brings me to my next point, which is, there is a reason you have been created. And there is a name that God Almighty constantly refers himself, and that's Al-Hakim, the all-wise one, which means there is a divine purpose behind the fact that we are here, there is a purpose behind the fact that Professor Jibril and Dr. Abdinur and all of the other people who were the founders of this event have been organizing this. And there is a reason behind the fact that you have graduated. So what are you going to do with your life now? We live in a world where there is a high and much hope on the youth. Everyone is looking at you today. Our future is our youth today. If you stand up and fulfill your obligations, 
then we will live in a better world. But if you guys make the wrong choices, then I'm afraid that we might not see a better world. So again, thank you so much for making the right choices and for getting that degree. And again, I want to thank for your parents, your teachers, and all of your teachers, uh, your mentors, without whose help you wouldn't have been where you are today. God bless you. And again, congratulations and thank you so much. And may Allah bless you, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thank you. MashaAllah. Uh, where is Hamza? Hamza Ahmed. Yeah. So from here, Hamza Ahmed is going to be moderating the evening. Assalamu alaikum. <clears throat> Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Uh, again, my name is Hamza Ahmed. I'm currently a fourth year at The Ohio State University studying public policy. Um, I also have the privilege of serving as the SSA president for the upcoming school year. Uh, shout out to SSA. Check them out. They're doing a lot of great things. Um, so the reason why we're here tonight, uh, the class of 2017. Uh, it feels like just a few years ago I was sitting in their shoes and now here I am almost you know, completing my undergraduate degree. So believe me, you guys, uh, the years will fly by. Um, so we, we have a, a very, very interesting, um, and we have a lot of amazing people here tonight uh, talking about a lot of interesting things. Um, but first off, uh, we want to highlight the success of a certain individual. Um, so I'm going to ask Fadima Dahir to come up here. Uh, so Fadima is currently, give me one sec. Fadima is an incoming freshman at The Ohio State University, majoring in neuroscience and psychology. In high school, um, she was an active member of uh, National Honor Society, um, as well as the debate team. So please give it up for Fadima Dahir. Assalamualaikum and good evening, everyone. Um, as you all heard, my name is Fatima Dahir, and um, starting this fall, I will be attending The Ohio State University, majoring in neuroscience and psychology. I've been aware of this event for quite some time, starting when my oldest sister, Inhan, was invited to attend, um, I believe, in 2011. Uh, the next year, my other sister, Nemo, was invited to attend. Both years, I remember being taken aback by the impressive achievements, intelligence, and talent of all of the students here. Uh, not to brag, but I think this class um, has all of the same qualities and more. The Somali community here in Columbus has always been extremely vibrant and supportive, uh, and I truly feel blessed to have grown up here. I hope to use the degrees I will attain in the next four years to only add to the amazing community we have right here. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, Fatima. Um, so before we get started, uh, real briefly, uh, to kind of talk about the reason why we're here tonight. Um, so this is the eighth annual Somali graduation scholarship ceremony uh, for Somali students attending colleges and universities in the great state of Ohio. Um, so tonight we're, we're going to be showcasing their, their hard work, their diligence, and most importantly, their academic achievement. Um, so please, uh, let, let's try to get a little bit more loud. Uh, let's, let's enjoy the food. And uh, our next speaker um, is a very, very good friend of mine, uh, Ismail Mohammed. Um, and for those of you who know him, he, he does a lot of great work in the community. Uh, Ismail is, inshallah, soon to be the first Somali-American attorney in the state of Ohio. Uh, he holds a JD from The Ohio State University, as well as, uh, was it poli-sci for undergrad? Yeah. <laughs> so please uh, give a warm welcome to Ismail Mohammed. Uh, my, name is Is my name is Ismail Mohammed, and I want to start by thanking uh, Professor Jibril for his amazing work. Uh, as was stated, this is the uh, eighth annual Somali graduation, and every year we seem to have more graduates and more families and more parents coming. So it's, it's an amazing accomplishment. So just give a round of applause to Professor Jibril, please. So I want to also congratulate all the graduates from high school, in addition to college as well. So give yourselves a round of applause, please. So I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Ismail Mohammed. I went to OSU, and I got my bachelor's in political science in 2013. Uh, I started law school in 2014 at The Ohio State University, Moritz College of Law. And I was very fortunate to graduate from Moritz Law just this past May. 
and now I'm in the process to take the bar exam to be, uh, I believe, in, to my knowledge, the best, the first Somali American attorney in the state of Ohio. And I hope that uh, this serves as an example for our youth coming up behind me. Uh, I'm very fortunate to have inspired youth like Hamza, who I've met about a year back, who was interested in law school but has never met someone uh, of his heritage and his culture who he could look up to. And I met him about a year back. We had had coffee and. He showed an interest in law school and he had met with me, I had talked about some of the struggles that I had in law school and now he is planning on taking the LSAT to go to law school. So I think that's just a first step and I've also met many, many of our youth who have shown an interest in law school after they had met me. So I think that I'm just very fortunate and I'm very happy to be able to be that example. Although I'm not exactly a role model but I'm, I'm very honored to meet youth who are interested in graduate school. And we definitely need to also promote that as well. I, in my opinion, we have a huge underrepresentation of legal uh, assistance in the state of Ohio. We have, we have many doctors, we have many uh, other professionals, but we are lacking when it comes to legal assistance. So I definitely want to promote that. And, uh, and uh, lastly, I did want to also give a shout out to Ahmed Ali. He's a close friend of mine. Uh, he's a founder and president of SPAG, Somalia Political Action Group. Uh, there are a lot of youth that I recognize uh, throughout the hall, and I definitely want to reach out to all of them and just say that I'm available if anyone is interested in law school or has any interest in graduate school generally. And I want to leave with just, uh, I do want to mention uh, there's a week-long uh, boot camp that's coming up soon, and uh, flyers were passed out and will be passed out. They're, all, they're also on the front desk as well. Uh, it's going to be from July 17th through the 21st. Uh, it's meant to, uh, it's more of an entrepreneurship program for youth. Uh, so definitely take advantage of that as well. Thank you so much for inviting me. Again, big shout out to Professor Jabril for his amazing work. Thank you. All right, again, please give it up for Ismail. All right. Up next, we have Hodan Saeed. Um, Excuse me. All right, there we go. Siad, sorry. My apologies, Hoden Siad. Um, Hoden is a licensed attorney practicing in Maryland and Washington, D.C., and is, and is admitted to the United States Court of International Trade. She's an attorney advisor for the Appeals Council at the Social Security Administration and provides pro bono legal advice to small businesses, entrepreneurs through the D.C. Economic Development Clinic. Prior to this, Hoden worked on financial fraud cases at the Department of Justice, where she worked on securities fraud litigation stemming from the global financial crisis. Hoden, Hoden <coughs> excuse me, holds an LLM in Law and Government from American University Washington College of Law, where she focused in business and financial regulation and international trade. She began her legal career in 2005 at the University of Cincinnati College of Law, where she was the articles editor for the Human Rights Quarterly and was awarded a Juris Doctor degree in 2008. Hoden received, this is one heck of a resume, mashallah. <laughs> Hoden received her BA from The Ohio State University, go Bucks, where she majored in English and African American and African Studies. Hoden will be focusing on attaining excellence in graduate school and beyond, and she, she's going to, uh, going to discuss her academic and professional journey as a young Somali lawyer. So please give it up for Hoden Siad. Assalamu alaikum. I want to thank Professor Jabril for having me speak here today in Somali Khan. It is such a tremendous honor to be speaking to all of you today. Um, I want to just extend my congratulations to the class of 2017. And it's been a you know it's been a couple of years since I last registered for um, my well the first time I registered for classes at the Ohio State University. Um, been a few years, but uh, it does feel like it was only yesterday um, when I was first registering for classes. And it was, you know, that's when I started my higher education journey. And I use the word journey because it is, in essence, what my academic experience has been. Um, when I enrolled at Ohio State, I didn't really know what it was I wanted to study. Um, I had a desire to really learn, but I wasn't really quite sure what I wanted to focus on. So after taking a variety of general education requirement courses, I found that the courses that I most enjoyed was actually classes in the humanities. 
So I really enjoyed writing and, and analyzing, and so it was natural for me to gravitate to English, and I ended up becoming an English major. And later on, I was also interested in further exploring how literature reflects socio-economic and political themes. And so I decided to major in African American and African studies, focusing literature, where I got to really explore these themes. Um, but, however, it, my interest in law didn't happen until I took a course uh, titled African Americans and the Law. And it was that particular class where I was able to learn about the civil rights movement, cases from uh, you know, the early civil rights cases like Brown versus the Board of Education, the um, uh, Equal Protection Clause. And it was, it was from that particular class where I got to understand how powerful, transformative, and impactful the law is. Um, I, le I learned that law was really, it's a tool for change. And at that point, I knew that I didn't just want to analyze issues, but I really wanted to participate um, in solving problems and effectuating change. So I went to law school at the University of Cincinnati, and after graduating uh, a few months after that, in 2008, the financial crash happened. And as many of you probably remember, it was a very difficult time. A lot of folks couldn't find jobs at that point, um, so it was really Quite, quite a difficult time for a lot of people. Um, even here in central Ohio, a lot of you know, houses were foreclosed. But I was fortunate enough to have had the opportunity to work for the Department of Justice where I was actually working on financial fraud cases, uh, which was really at the heart um, of the financial fraud crisis, the security fraud cases. And then during that time, I, f I found that, you know, focusing on these issues was something of an interest to me at that time, so I decided, why not get an LLM at American University, do financial business and financial fraud regulation and focus on that. Um, so I can tell you, like as an attorney even now, we're, I'm constantly learning. Uh, learning doesn't stop with the degrees that you have. It doesn't stop with a particular job that you have even. It is a journey and you're constantly evolving and perfecting your professional skills. Um, I think it's the important part of the journey for me is that I really never lost sight of what was important to me as a person. So if you adhere to your principles and you focus on achieving your goals while adhering to those principles and values, you all will truly be successful. Public interest, community, involvement, these are things that are particularly important to me as a person. Um, so I continued to do pro bono cases. While in law school, I knew I wanted to get into public interest law, so you know, working for the federal government allowed for me to do that, and I was also exposed to a variety of different cases that I don't think that I would have been exposed to otherwise. Um, so my, one thing I have to say, though, is that my journey was not really, it was not done alone. Yes, I was the first in my family to go to law school, and yes, before I went to law school, I didn't really know any t attorneys personally, However, I can say that my professors at The Ohio State University certainly encouraged me to challenge myself academically and think critically and ask questions. Um, so that was that really the support and the encouragement I got from my professors that really helped me along the way. Um, and, so, and later on also, I, I also got support from senior attorneys throughout my career. I consulted with them and they told me, you know, different things, their experiences, which really helped me. So it's important to reach out to people. You know, you may be doing, you may be the first person in your family to, have, to, to, to you know, get into a certain career. So it's important to seek out those people in, in the areas that you are interested in and reach out to them. And, you know, mentors, they're usually pretty, pretty friendly and willing to help out. Um, and I wanted just to leave you all with some practical advice. Uh, as you all begin your journey, I really encourage you to be open to taking courses that you are interested in. I encourage you all to stay connected to your community. It's important to understand that the work that you are doing now transcends beyond your personal goals. But your knowledge and experience will allow you to extend your hand and lift up communities, not only here in central Ohio, but even in Somalia. 
So be involved in student organizations that will allow you to develop leadership skills, organizational skills. Um, it's a great thing to be a part of something that is really bigger than yourself. It's also great to work alongside people who are doing the same. Um, always ask questions, be intellectually, intellectually curious. Don't set limits for yourself. Build relationships with your professors. Have a mentor, be a mentor. Be mindful of your experience and enjoy the time. Enjoy your time and always remember that the journey is the journey. Sometimes we get caught up with our goals and we forget to remember the process that got us there. And the process that is getting us there as well. So sometimes the process is just as important. And I, I always I tell this to my younger siblings. I, I tell them that it's always good to jot down your goals. This is what I tend to do. So, you know, whether, whether, whatever your goal may be, big or small, I like to keep a journal. You, know, you can put it in your computer or tablet. Just jot down what your goals are. It's great to do that because it holds you accountable. You can look back and see what you've achieved and you can see, you know, where you want to go. And so with that, I have to say, I really commend you all for your achievement so far. I mean, it's just wonderful to see so many people here. And um, I know each and every one of you will be very successful and I wish you all the best. Thank you. All right. Please, let's give it up for Holden Siad one more time, you guys. Right. Holden is truly a trailblazer in her field, um, and it's amazing and very refreshing for someone like me to hear what she just said. Um, so before I go on to our next speaker, um, I know we have Iyal Kahafud over there. You know, we, we got the West Side, Iyal Kahafud over there. So I'm going to ask you guys to please try to tone it down a little bit so we can hear what's going on up here. All right. So our next uh, speaker is Abdirizak Farah. Abdirizak is a senior policy advisor with the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, Office of the Secretary, Office of Civil Rights, excuse me, Office for Civil Rights and Civil Liberties, where he served as a key expert and advisor on homeland security, civil liberties, countering violent extremism. He represents CRCL at high-level meetings with executives from other government agencies, private sector, and non-governmental agencies providing expert analysis and recommendations that support leadership decisions. Additionally, Abdi provides training and high-level briefings for depart... This sounds like something out of a movie, Abdi. This is pretty cool, man. I had no idea. <laughs> All right. So additionally, uh, Abdi Zak provides training and high-level briefings for department leadership and conducts CVE training for DHS personnel and other law enforcement agencies. Abdi is also the CEO and superintendent for, Lo for Focus Learning Academy of Northern Columbus and K-8 Community School in Columbus, Ohio. Prior to joining the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, Abdi worked for the City of Columbus as a coordinator where he developed and participated in the execution of a long-term strategy that encompassed improved compliance of Title VI of the 1964 Civil Rights Act, the successful integration of immigrant and refugee communities into the social and commercial fabric of Columbus life. With marked improvement in the coordination of resources between the city and state to enhance the delivery of vital pu public services. He was also the host of TV, the TV show Global Columbus on Government Channel 3. Before joining uh, Mayor Michael B. Coleman's team, Abdirizak demonstrated his leadership skills while working on the United Nations as um, in the political office where he worked on national reconciliation, a grassroots level institution on building, uh, an, excuse me, on building other uh, capacity building initiatives, including conflict resolution, economic development, and uh, disarmament efforts. Please give it up for Abdirizak Farah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. People are asleep. Can everybody hear me? Assalamu alaikum. Alrighty. Well, well, thank you very much for having me. I would like to take a quick moment to thank the organizers of this event, Somali Khan, Dr. Abdin Noor, and everybody else who's here, uh, and Jibril, uh, the cr incredible effort they put together every year to bring so many of us to celebrate young people's celebration. 
uh, young, young people's graduation from middle schools, high schools, and uh, from universities. So it's a debt of gratitude uh, that I wish to express myself before I say anything else to the organizers, especially Jibril. Um, and I also want to take a moment to thank the parents who are here and the brothers and sisters who have been part of the journey and the success of all these young people who have succeeded to finish high schools and many of you college. So that is something wonderful. And that is a, 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 an achievement that just is not uh, catalyzed by one person, but uh, happens because of all the people who came together to make sure that that happens. Um, I want to say a few things about service, mostly public service, giving back to the community and volunteering. But before I go there, I would like to also um, express a debt of gratitude from my own side to those I have learned the most from, individuals and colleagues and friends that I have learned so much uh, from who have provided me with a lot of guidance when it comes to volunteering within the community, when it comes to giving back to the community, and when it comes to perseverance and, go, and staying at it when it comes to engaging and, and being part of uh, the fabric that supports a new community that's getting established in this new country. And those I would like to recognize are uh, my colleagues and friends and my leaders uh, from Focus Learning Academy of Northern Columbus. Some of you sitting here, Abdi Sofi uh, and Russell Flickinger, who sit on our board. Uh, some of the, the troop volunteers at the back, Ma'alim uh, Faduma, Ali Mahad in the back, Shamso, Badan, and, Ma, and, and Hashi, and Ali Jama, some of you guys know, uh, know him for. And, and, and my dear friend, Travis Budd, who's our principal for this school. Um, I thank these people mainly because um, when I knew little about giving back to the community or getting involved, they were the ones who provided me with a guiding light. They were the ones who corrected me when we made a mistake. They were the ones who would wake up every morning, who would organize events and activities for our students, because it's a school that specializes on K through eight programming. So, I cannot discuss and talk about giving back to the community without recognizing these individuals, so I want to say thanks to them. Um, to those people who are um, graduating today from high school, I say a long and exciting journey is waiting for you. Going to a college, hopefully, and university, expanding your knowledge base and learning a lot more than you have known. Not only your knowledge base would expand, but the connections that you have in the world will also expand. You will meet new people new cultures, the sheltered lifestyle that you led, being with your parents and family members, will change. You will be exposed to a lot of new stuff. With it comes also challenges and a lot of temptations and difficulties, but I hope that the culture of your community will guide you and focus you and push you into doing the right things and staying on course. And to those who, will gradu who just graduated from, from universities and colleges, uh, the journey of professional conduct begins for you. Um, but throughout your life, there will be a lot of failures, there will be a lot of difficulties, there will be a lot of challenges, but do, do not allow those to, to define you, because every challenge ought to serve as a lesson for a better future, and how to steer away from future mistakes. Um, throughout the course of your life, whether you're going to a college, or you are just finishing college and joining the workforce, there will be a lot of people who will provide you an advice, a support, or try to steer you in a certain way. And my advice to you would be, please look for individuals who have thrived and succeeded in the field that you are trying to join in, and follow the steps of those. Um, these many people are here today, and that is the more difficult task that awaits you, um, to celebrate your success and put you in debt. We celebrate your success because this community, especially the Somali-American community, looks to young people who are emerging amongst them to be the guiding light, to be providing the success of this future. Because we are in a new home, we are in a new culture, and you are the best to straddle between the old cultures where we and your parents came from and the cultures that you are joining, the true American culture that you have become part of. So remember one thing, as we want the best for you, you probably will know the best in terms of steering through the cultures of the American society. Because many of our, your parents, and including the older generations, would be good at the cultures we came from, and will usually look back, will hearken back to the old cultures to provide a guidance. But you probably will know what's best in this new community, in this new culture, and how to be thriving and be successful in these new futures. So find 
professional associations that you can join, um, new groups that you can become member of, and mentorship and, um, and from individuals who have done well in the fields that you're joining or becoming part of. Um, I, I do remember when I was becoming a public servant, uh, many people have told me a lot of different stories on how that work could be very difficult, how failures wait await, or the fastest track to success. But it was those uh, public servants that allowed me and, and trained me and, and developed me that provided me the most relevant advice that I could find. So my advice to you is that please find people who have done well in your field or the fields that you're trying to join and seek advice from them. The overwhelming American people that you will find in your communities will be definitely willing to support you and guide you. Another thing that is extremely important for people going to college is uh, the issue of internships. It's not easy for somebody to finish college and immediately become successful and a professional without working in the fields that you are joining. So I cannot stress enough to you to seek internships in the fields that you are trying to join. That is extremely important. And fear is the greatest impediment to seeking that kind of an advice or mentorship. So please stay away from that. If you fail, if you face challenges, that is part of life. And that challenge and the failures that you will face in the future probably will provide you the next success that you are ought to you ought to achieve the community is behind you and this community gathers because young people like you are the future that holds better stuff for 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 for, for overwhelming majority of this community another interesting thing is that you will hear a lot of stories about somalia what has happened in somalia and how important it is to go back and support only those who have led a very successful life in this american society and in this community will be able to support and help those who still languish or suffer in the countries that we came from. So your success here will also be a tool that you can use to support the people of your home country or the, 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 the community of your parents and the community that you come from. So your success uh, hopefully will be something that carries the community for a better place, to a better place. You cannot be a great supporter of your community. You cannot be a, a successful individual who contributes to the vitality of your society, whether it's the American society or the Somali American society or the Somalis that you came from. You cannot achieve that success if you don't do well here. Much of human progress has been achieved through education, through, through learning and knowledge. And you are at the center of that education and knowledge. I always say Columbus is known for one thing and that is in educational institutions and that educational institutions are there for nothing but for young people to learn and expand their horizons and to become successful I say to you Godspeed we all rely upon your successes this community looks on to young people who are coming and joining the older communities are becoming relics what we know is what happened in the past but you know what's best for our community because you will be the future leaders and I say to you Godspeed God willing you will do well and we rely upon you and we rely on, on, on your successes, and the community will be watching you. And thank you so much for having us. Thank you very much, Abdirisaq. That was a, a very inspiring uh, moment. Uh, thank you for sharing your insights on public service. And I know the young people who are pursuing degrees in public affairs, public administration, like Hamza here, the new president of the SSA, uh, people who are in, in, in the legal field will benefit from all of those uh, nice points. Now, I would like to acknowledge our uh, Columbus City Council member, uh, Michael Stinziano. Please give him a hand. <laughs> Mr. Stinziano has been a supporter of this program from inception. Uh, even when he was at the State House, he, he always supported this program and he showed his commitment to it. We really are grateful and we will hear from him in a moment. Uh, but for now, uh, tonight is about the young people, about the graduates, about the class of 2017. There is a story that the previous graduates have always heard from one man here, Russell Flickinger, one of the sponsors of this program. And it is, it's the story of passing it on you have heard something good, somebody did something good for you, they don't expect anything in return, pass it on. 
Tonight, we're going to be doing scholarships. A draw for 10 random scholarships. Five for boys, five for girls. And each scholarship is worth $500. And we will have them in a transparent ball where we will have all the names. They will all be there. You will all see them. And we will select 10 people at random. Now, um, for those young people who succeed, who win tonight, we don't expect anything from you other than being successful. We want you to be successful. We want you to work harder at your education. We want you to attain academic excellence. That's what we want. Those of you who do not win, we know you have worked so hard. Thank you very much for doing that. We are very proud. Please continue keeping us proud. Now I would like to call Russell to the podium. Russell. Good evening. I'm sure uh, most of you have probably heard the story I'm going to tell. Uh, I'd like to apologize for that, but you give the microphone to an attorney and I'm going to talk for a while. So make yourself comfortable, sit down and get ready to hear this story. About eight or nine years ago, I was on a cross-country motorcycle ride. That's my passion, that's what I love to do. I was traveling from Key West, Florida to Homer, Alaska. There were about 450 of us. You had to sleep outside with your motorcycle. We were all GPS tracked. You had to follow their route and their route took us into the middle of nowhere. I was in the middle of, I think, Oklahoma. I'm not really sure where I was. And um, it was a night similar to tonight, only as bad as it was when you saw that big storm come through this afternoon. If you've ever been on a motorcycle, you do not want to see that kind of weather. I was in the middle of nowhere. I had one other guy with me, and we had gotten gas at a little gas station. There was one other building in the vicinity. I'm not a mechanical guy, I'm a lawyer, so I don't know much about motorcycles other than how to start them and how to ride it. I looked down at my swing arm, which is the piece that kind of hooks the tire into the back of the motorcycle, and there's this pin that's supposed to hold it in there. Well, this pin had worked its way out to where it was hanging about this far from coming out completely. I don't have to tell you what happens if it comes out completely. I won't be here standing here talking to you. I would be splattered all over the roadway. But I was smart enough to figure out that that wasn't where it should be. So I asked the guy with me, I said, is that a problem? And he looked at me and he said, that's the big problem. A guy from that little shed came over and he said, what's wrong? And I said, I'm not sure, but I think I got a problem here. And he looked at me, he said, you got a big problem. Bring it over here. So he brought me over to the building. He tore this old Quonset hut roof and the uh, door and pushed it up and pulled it in there. And for the next two hours, him and his friend spent trying to get that pin put back into that swing arm. And they worked pretty hard while I watched them. After they got done, the storm had passed. I went over to hand him money and he looked me straight in the eye and without blinking, he said, pass it on. Took me back for a second because I'm not used to that and I thought, okay, all right, I will. I continued the ride up to Alaska, made it there, and when you're riding a motorcycle, you think a lot, and I was thinking, how can I pass it on? How can I do what this gentleman told me to do? And I was hoping that somewhere along the line, I would get some kind of sign that would tell me what I should do. A week later, I'm sitting downtown in probate court. We unfortunately had represented a truck driver, Somali truck driver, who was killed in Oklahoma. We were attempting to get the money from the settlement to his wife and children who were in Kenyan refugee camps. And I'm sure you all know how difficult right now it is to transfer money to Kenya, Somalia, or any place else without being put on a watch list, which I'm probably on now because of that. But uh, as we were sitting there, there was a gentleman who uh, was very prevalent in the Somali community, a man named Muhammad Huli, and he started telling me about all the Somali kids in the state of Ohio that were virtually at every university and what they were studying and what they were taking. And I'm like, how do you know that? I said, how can you possibly tell that? And he goes, well, 
one thing you have to know about the Somali people is that they value education very, very highly. And he said, we know that the way to make our family, make our country better is through education. So I thought about that for a while and we were eventually able to get the money over to Kenya. And I thought, that's how I can pass it on. So we formed Somali Pride Pass It On. The first year, this organization wasn't presenting this uh, beautiful event, so we kind of sought out some kids and we gave them some money to help them out because even though you get scholarships from the university or scholarships from the government or student loans or grants, you never have cold hard cash in your hand for that, as an old guy, a pencil or calculator, but now I'm sure it's a laptop, an iPad or whatever it is you need. So we decided that giving cold hard cash, scholarships, $500, would help out the students. And we wanted to help out the students of Somali descent that were going to college. We have only one caveat with this. We're giving you the money. We aren't asking anything in return, just like Jabril said. The only thing we ask, though, is that sometime in your life, you do something good for someone else and you don't expect anything else in return. That is all we ask. So tonight, we're lucky enough that we're going to be able to give out $6,000 worth of scholarships. And there's a guy in Oklahoma that said, pass it on. And he has probably given out, I bet, close to $50,000 since uh, he told me to pass it on. I'm sure he, uh, he has no idea. And someday, I'm going to try to track him down and tell him. But uh, all we ask is, have a good life, work hard, take care of others, and above all else, make sure that you do good, you do something else for someone else, and never ask anything in return. Congratulations to all the graduates, good luck. Russell Flickinger is a partner in the Flickinger Legal Group, which represents uh, accident and injury clients uh, across Central Ohio, and he has an office here at Eastern. I encourage anyone who needs legal representation to reach out to Russell and Justin. Um, now, uh, I have the honor of inviting to the podium Dr. Abdinur Mohammed. Uh, Dr. Abdinur is a founder of this Somali scholarship program. He is also a former, the former Somali education minister, a former employee of the state of Ohio Department of Education for a long time, an educator, a scholar, a true role model to the Somali community here in Columbus. We're, ex we're, we're honored to have him. We're really um, uh, fortunate to have him in our midst. And Dr. Abdinur will talk about the tradition of celebrating academic excellence and the impact that has on the lives of the community. Welcome, Dr. Abdinur. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Atlubal barqa al-igu aliyya. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. I want to say that Professor Jabril Mohammed, he said Abdinur is the founder. I'm a co-founder. He is the other part that founded this project, and I'm really uh, grateful and happy that Professor Jabril moved to Columbus, Ohio. He had the energy, the effort, the foresight to be able to see this work and take it and bring it to full fruition. So I want to recognize Professor Jabril for the work he has done throughout these years. Um, this is the eighth year that we have the annual graduation, uh, Somali-American students graduating from Ohio high schools, universities, and graduate schools. And the purpose of establishing this event is to respond to parents who came to us and to many of you who said, my son graduated in Dublin. 
but there were no other Somalis there. My, my daughter graduated in Licking County, Licking Heights High School, but there were no other Somalis there. My sister graduated from uh, Central High School, but there were, so people were complaining that they were in many places, but there were not many Somalis there. And you know, recognition is important, that it requires that your family is there, your neighbors are there, your communi communities are there, and that you feel proud that your larger community knows that you graduated, that you are successful, that you, are, you have made it. But if nobody knows about this, then it's not what you think it would be. Growing up in Somalia, we used to have annual graduations where the community comes together. And those that succeed in the high schools, in the middle schools, in uh, college, everybody in the community knew. He's the good guy, he's the good student in math. She's the good student in science. She has the best score in town. He has the best score in the whole country. We knew who had the best score in, in, in the whole country of Somalia. In your town, in your region. And why it's important? Because you want others to also do the same thing and graduate. So, alhamdulillah, we're grateful that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us this opportunity for the eighth year to bring the community together, to showcase the success that parents and their children have achieved in this community, for them to be able to, able to come together and to celebrate together for the successes of this community. So, mashallah, we are proud of the students who graduated every, every year. We are proud of the work that they have done since they have graduated, the universities that they have gone, the scholarships that they have won, the jobs that they have been able to get. It is truly marvelous to know that this community supports the education of their children. We want to highlight that we value education. We came to this country to succeed. We came to this country to become lawyers, engineers, educators, nurses, doctors. We are part of the fabric of the American society. And we want to be contributing to this country that gave us the opportunity to do so. So this event is to showcase to all of us that we are not here as guests, we are Americans. And we are in every fabric of our society. We have bankers, we have teachers, we have principals, we have nurses, we have everything that this community appreciates and we are part of that. And we want to continue that tradition. Now coming back to the students, the graduates, the upcoming future graduates. I want to first and foremost tell you, you've done a good job. We're proud of the work that you have done. You've made it. But there are two important advisors or more in your life, in our lives. And we need to remember those constant counselors, advisors that are behind us. These are your parents, your father and your mother, your grandmother and your grandfather, and then your extended parents at school, your teacher and teachers and guidance counselors, the people that always you go to for advice. But let me focus on your mom and dad, as I have seen how my counselors, my advisors, my mom and dad have supported my education. I have just recently lost my, one of my advisors as late as last week. My mother, who has been a constant advisor in my life, every day, every night, everything that I do, everything that I'm involved, she had an idea, a thought, an opinion, a guidance to me. And for the first time in my life, as of last week, I don't, I don't have an advisor that I can go to when I need wisdom, guidance. And I want you to remember the importance of your parents to your life. 
Parents are there when you forget to brush your teeth in the morning, if you are in elementary school. Your mom and dad ask you, did you brush your teeth? Don't wear this shirt, wear the other one. You had this one yesterday, change your shoes, brush your hair, do your homework. Don't go with these kids. Go with, the, with, those, with those, they have advice that does not end. And they don't get angry with you. They are always there. So I want you to appreciate, because I really think about my mom. She was advising me as of two, less than six months ago, whether I need to retire from my work or not. Now remember, not about going to college, not about going to high school, not about choosing something, not about getting married, no, all of that she has done. Now she was advising me, why is not the right time to retire from my work? And I didn't you know, knew at the time why my mom was involved in that decision making, but today I know how important that decision was for her. So I want to encourage you, all of you, to appreciate your mom and dad, to appreciate your grandparents, because you don't know the value that you have in your home. The, the counselor that you have every day at home who is advising you, who wants the best for you, for your education, for your life, for your marriage, for your, for your future. It is our parents. And they would be the people who would be most glad to see you succeed. But we often don't appreciate them. We often don't say thank you to them. So I want the graduates all the students here tonight to hug and kiss and love your parents because they are the best advisors that you can get. And if you have an extra one that you can share, let me know because I'm looking for one. And I wish you the best. Keep it up and do well. And in this country, we will succeed. Somali Americans will be known as the best community that supports education, the community that contributes the best in this society, and America will be grateful for having immigrants come to this country. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you very much, Dr. Abdenour, uh, for that moving uh, speech. And we ask Allah to bless his mother and uh, give her Jannah, inshallah. Now, I would like to invite our, tonight is a loyal night. We have lots of attorneys in the room, I think. Uh, we have had Hodan, we have had Ismail, we had have Russell. I know there are a couple of other lawyers inside here. <laughs> and that's exciting. I mean, Somali-American lawyers and, and friends of Somali-Americans lawyers. So that's, that's an exciting thing. I would like to invite our keynote speaker for the night, Russell Flickinger, I mean, Justin Flickinger. Uh, Justin is a partner in the Flickinger Legal Group, a young, brilliant lawyer who represents a number of Somalis in cases and who is involved in this event and in many other events that Somalis hold in Columbus, including raising funds for famines, uh, raising funds for different uh, activities, the International Women's Day celebration uh, hosted by Khadra Mohammed, uh, this Somali graduation contributing to the mosques, Masjid uh, Abu Bakr Siddiq, Masjid Rutaymiya. I mean, the Filikinja group is really involved in this community and we're blessed to have them in our midst. Welcome, Justin. Salaam Alaikum. All right. Thank you, dignitaries, elected officials, and all the young scholars for attending this evening. I'd like to thank Jabril and the Somali Can event. It's really, truly an honor to be part of an event that's so amazing. For those of you who do not know me, I am Justin Flickinger, and I'm the newest partner at the Flickinger Legal Group. My day-to-day -day basis, I'm working with uh, my abo down there, Russ. It's quite the dichotomy, let me tell you, so it's a lot of fun. After representing between 5,000 and 10,000 individuals of Somali descent, 
It's not uncommon to hear my receptionist ask somebody if they would like Bio to drink or have my secretary ask if Abo or Hoyo were in a particular auto accident. Let me tell you, it gets in a rise whenever they ask too, because they're like, wait a second, you know Somali? Well, we got a couple words we know, so. You know, it's a great honor to be a part of an award scholarship program just like this. With the new generation coming up, it's important that we carry on all the important traits, traditions, and all of the different things that we look for in individuals when we're moving forward. That's why this is one of my particular favorite events that we do, because I feel like we truly can give back to the community, because the community gives to us so much. However, before we do so, I'd like to give you some suggestions, some rules to live by, if you will. And uh, these you can refer to as Justin Flick's five rules of success. The first thing is everything you do in life, do it to its full extent. And what I mean by that is if you go to college or you're going to start a career, anything, do it all the way. Don't do it halfway. You never hear anybody say, hey, I'm half a doctor, so don't worry, I can remove that spleen for you, okay? You never hear anybody say, hey, I'm half an attorney, so don't worry, I can represent you. Whatever you do, make sure you do it to the full extent. The second rule is that education is the foundation to understanding. Whether it's college, training or guidance from peers and educators, you understand that this will help you lead forward and being better understanding on things in life and lead you to success. The third rule is to understand the true measure of success in life. There are many different ways that individuals measure success. I think that what you will find is that true happiness is not measured by the amount of money in your bank account or how much power you have. I think you'll find true relationships are through your relationships, whether it be through family, through friends, through God, and through your community. Number four is make sure you give something back. And that's kind of why we're here today, right? Somali can event is pass it on, continue passing it on. In April, we were approached by a couple of young gentlemen, along with some other individuals, in regards to a famine in Somalia. And when we were contacted about this, I thought about this for a second. A famine, just the thought of famine for me is hard to comprehend because I live in a world where I can eat food anytime I want. Food is not hard to come by. If you look down the table right now, I have Starbucks, I have an iced tea, I got water, and I have a bottle of water here. The thought that that's difficult is crazy. I see a couple of the individuals here with me right now. Ishmael Muhammad, if you guys would stand along with anybody else who is raising funds for the famine relief so you could be recognized. You guys did a phenomenal job. The amount of money you guys raised is unreal. And that is a prime example of giving something back. Give something back to community and help others who need it when they are in need. The fifth rule is trust yourself. What I mean by that is you are the best you that you can be, okay? No one else can be better at being you than you. Avoid the naysayers. Many people will tell you that you can't do something. You're unable to do it or you'll never make it. Only you can truly be the judge of whether or not something is achievable. And trust me, generally if you think it possibly can be, it is. Sixth, I know I only have five rules, but here's my bonus rule, all right? Sixth rule in the bonus rule is listen to Hoyo, okay? Mom knows you about as well as you know yourself. I promise you that, okay? If she tells you you're being an idiot, you're probably being an idiot, all right? So always listen to Hoyo. Everybody, thank you so much for listening to me. It's an honor to be the keynote speaker this evening. To all the young students, understand that you are at the best time of your life. Right now, you can decide anything you want to do, and then you can achieve it. In this country, you definitely can achieve it, and I'm living proof. So thank you very much. Thank you, Justin. Uh, we are grateful that you 
chose to give back and give back to the Somali community and inspire our youth. Now, this event would not have been possible without the effort of the graduates. Thank you and congratulations. Without the effort of the parents, the educators, but also the sponsors. I would like to mention the sponsors right now and we will next have our city council member, Stinziano, recognizing each and every one of them. And I will uh, start with the Philippine Legal Group. You have heard from them. Uh, the Fifth Third Bank team uh, here, and uh, Natalie and Amran and the, and the team, thank you very much for standing with Somali youth and supporting Somali education. Focus Line and Academy of Northern Columbus, the team is here, Adrisa Ali, the principal is here. Uh, thank you very much for standing with Somali youth. The Franklin County Children's Services, is Deb here? She just stepped out, yeah, okay. Um, the KSOS Foundation, the City of Columbus Department of Neighborhoods, represented by Abdi Sofi here, the OSU Department of African American African Studies, which I work for, that's my employer. Uh, the Center for African Studies at Ohio State, the Buckeye Ranch, the Ohio State College of Social Work, Zenith Academy is Sheikh Ainta here. Denison University, the employee of my friend Anita Waters who just retired. He ran online the best source of Somali news in English and in Somali. Where's Abdul Ghadir? There you go. <laughs> Midnima Middle School. Uh, the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium is a supporter of this program. The United Way of Central Ohio. The uh, Twinkle Star Child Care Center. Enhanced Home Health. And I would like to acknowledge all of the people who have taken part in this program. From my left, I see Khadra Mohammed. This would not have happened without her. She has been here from inception. She's always here to support education. I see Yusuf Abrar, our former Central Bank of Somalia governor, an anti, a Somali professional, a, a, you know, somebody that stands for the rights of all of Somalis and financial integrity of our institutions. Um, I see Dr. Abdunur, uh, this has been his brainchild. Abdi Sofe, uh, always, you know, supportive of this uh, in terms of his sponsorships and in terms of uh, support. I see uh, the Flickinger Group, Justin and uh, Russell, thank you very much. I would like to acknowledge Amada, Sophia and her family who are always here, who are <laughs> supportive of this program. And last year, Sophia was able to provide recognition to the parents, and this year she is going to be doing the same. Thank you, Sophia. Now I would like to invite Abdi Sofi to introduce our council member, who will be providing recognitions to our sponsors. So uh, each sponsor will come when the council member calls, and you will say your congr congratulations and thank yous, and you will receive your certificate, and there you go. Assalamu alaikum. Good evening. So my name is Abdi Sofi. I work for the City of Columbus Department of Neighborhoods. And on behalf of the mayor and all the leadership on the City of Columbus, including our own Michael Zinziano, who will be speaking shortly, I have a greetings I wanted to convey and congratulatory from the leadership of the City of Columbus. This is a program that from the start, the city leadership wanted to support and maintain that commitment. And on that capacity, I wanted to congratulate first the parents, and the second, the parents, and the third, the parents, and then the graduates. If you remember back in Somalia, people don't use what we call now insurance. No disability insurance, no life insurance, no of any such insurance. The only insurance and the only future 
is the students, the children, the next generation. And for that, that's the reason why I wanted to congratulate three times the parents. And the second, I wanted to speak, and that fits this occasion on behalf of my capacity as a member of the board of the Focus Learning Academy. That's a school that's 100% students are Somali students. Is it 100 or 99%? I'll, just to be safe, I'll say 99%. And on behalf of the governing board of that school, that I really feel is strong because of what that school have done for the Somali community in terms of community engagement, in terms of providing resources and education and investment to the parents and the students, in terms of providing after the school programs and resources and uh, home, homework uh, help centers and field trips to DC every single time, matter of fact, 100% of the class because we're eight, uh, K to eight, all the eighth graders, all of them go to DC where they have three or four days engagements to have a professional visitations with the federal governments, with higher education institutions, with the White House, with the US Congress, with the representatives of the state of Ohio. And that's the reason why I wanted to give a shout out to Fox Learning Academy. And, and for that reason, it also shows that most of the staff and the leadership and the superintendent and uh, uh, the principal and the board members are here tonight to support this cause. <laughs> and we have other community leaders who most of us, by the way, are from Columbus and will be driving like 10 or 15 minutes home but we have in this ho house tonight people who will be driving three hours to places like Manusville. I want to give a shout out to Heather Tafaris from the Department of Homeland Security, who will be driving all the way to Manusville. And with all the sponsors who supported this program, congratulations and thank you so much. I heard earlier one of the speakers mention a boot camp. Who was that? Brother Mohammed, uh, uh, Ismail Mohammed. That is an excellent idea. I want to endorse that. And I will be speaking at that event. And I want to give a round of applause to Ismail and his team for the boot camp idea for the youth and that youth empowerment. <laughs> I, I see a representative from uh, State Representative uh, Leland's office. Uh, she's uh, in the home, uh, in, in the house tonight. Thank you so much on behalf of uh, the organizing committee want to convey congratulatory and our support to the state representative Leland. And last but not the least, I wanted to congratulate all the parents who may or may not have any students in the house, in, the ho in, in this uh, event tonight, but they want to support this cause in support of the Somali students, to all parents, all the supporters. Thank you so much. Uh, it, if you know the next speaker that I'm going to introduce, by the way, my role was only to introduce. This was all my, my own that I'm doing. I apologize. Uh, uh, the council member Estenziano is a champion for community progress, for community engagement, for civil rights and civil liberty, for equitable access. He adopted a, for the first time when, the, when he joined the city council, a community engagement on a week weekly and uh, by a weekly community engagement well he, where he, all the city council actually was on board and adopted that created a community engagement team where they want to hear from directly from the community uh, community advocacy empowerment where the city of columbus is now accessible to all the communities ladies and gentlemen with father do you help me welcome honorable Michael Estenziano. Well, good evening, everyone. Uh, you got to do better than that. Good evening. Yeah. I am honored to be here. I am Michael Estenziano, one of your seven Columbus City Council members, and I bring greetings on behalf of my colleagues at City Hall, Council President Zach Klein, President Pro Tem Priscilla Tyson, Council Members Elizabeth Brown, Mitchell Brown, 
uh, Shannon Harden, Jaiza Page, and myself. We are very proud of the students that are being recognized and thankful for the sponsors to make this event so possible. What you didn't hear in that bio was I've got a lot of degrees. I went to high school. I went to undergrad at University of Richmond. Richmond's mascot's the Spiders, the only Division I arachnid mascot out there, but I like to point that out because a poisonous nut, which is what a Buckeye is, is also a unique mascot. Then I went on, got a master's in public administration, and ultimately a law degree at Ohio State. All those degrees are great, lots and lots of graduations, but it's what you do with that degree. And I think we've heard some amazing uh, inspiration from the speakers tonight, and so just want to echo uh, their sentiment. Go look for an internship. Go pay it forward. Go be the best you can be. Whatever opportunities present itself, particularly in our region, um, you can make it as great as you want it to be. You can be as involved and as engaged. I will always plug city government, city hall. If there are things you think we need to be doing better, you would like to see us do more for our communities, speak up. Let us know. As mentioned, I hold weekly community hours at a library, coffee shop. I don't come with an agenda. I want to hear from you. And that is for anyone. The, as people as young as 12, I've seen make laws and impact legislation all the way to senior citizens and really encourage you uh, as you take your degrees, uh, pursue your next opportunities to look and see where you can help make an impact for our community on the government side as well. But I get the honor to recognize our uh, sponsors. You've heard a number of them. I have certificates on behalf of Columbus City Council, so I'm going to name them off. If there's a representative, would love for them to come up. Do you want them to speak? Yeah. And you get to speak. Maybe we'll keep it to three minutes. It's what we do at council meetings. Uh, if you run over in that, we may remove you. But really appreciate all of your support to these graduates and for this opportunity. So the first one's small you can. So this is an easy one. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> the second is Flickinger Law Group, legal group. He said he already spoke. What you can't really tell is the awesome suit that he's wearing. Uh, next is Fifth Third Bank. Salam alaikum, my friends. Good evening. Um, like Justin, um, I am the uh, financial center manager um, for Fifth Third Bank at our Linden office. And because of the community that I serve, I'm also learning a little bit of Somali. So to my young friends, I'm sorry, Jabril, I'm going to be really informal. Naya. <laughs> Aaron, Aaron's been teaching me some Somali, so I'm going to blame her for that. She told me, she's like, you have to teach her some language. So. Um, so what I'm going to do is, um, because I work for Fifth Third, and for some of you who may be thinking about going into mathematics or finance or economics, you may find it funny that I work for a bank whose name is an improper fraction. But that name also stands for something a little bit more. So if you think about it, Fifth Third is equal to 166.7%. And I am tasked every day to do 166.7% for the customers that I serve. So, because of that, Fifth Third is highly involved in the communities that we serve. Fifth Third is a very proud sponsor of this event and has been, I think, been going back for four or five years, right? And we look forward to continuing that partnership in the years to come. So, with that, I challenge the graduates going forward to give 166.7%. You have the ability to do that. I also challenge you to take some time to think outside the box. My degree is in communication. I thought that I was gonna be a public relations superstar. However, I found my niche in serving my communities by helping them achieve their financial goals and also to be involved in the community by teaching financial wellness to the communities that I work in. So with that, congratulations to all the graduates, the families. You should all be so proud for your success and your success to come. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. 
waxaan maleynaa qofku ugu horeeyay Soomaali ku hadlaa ahay caawo inta Soomaaliga ku hadlin homoogay u qaadanayaan waxaan sheegayo magaciigo amrin sheekh ahmed waxaan u shaqeeyaa bangiga fifth third oo ku yaal cliffland avenue banadir mall area i'm sure kul yeen inaad taqaanin waxaan caaw ku faraxsanahay aniga oo employee ah oo badge ka shaqada iyo xiranyaha at same time in aan community ga support gareenay oo halkan aan taaganahay and waxaan rabaa in aan congratulations dhaho hooyooyinka in u soo sacrifice gareey ilmahooda oo maalin kasta aan shaqada ku arko bangiga ay ko check sarifanaayo half an hour gudahooda rabo inay check ku sarifaan in ilmihi dugsi ama school ay ka soo qaadan at same time grocery ay soo maraan ayako laga yaab lix cunug ama sideed cunug inay guriga u joogaan mashallah congratulations you are doing amazing job and i really appreciate sida quruxda badan oo community geena aad kor ugu heysiin and without you guys aa wax halkan maan joogi lahayn and mashallah and again waxa idin leeyahay congratulations assalamu alaykum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh care source here on online Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. On behalf of Hiran Online, the only website of Somalis, or Sida Runta'a, Haqiqada'a, Warka Utabiya, Ayaw Kilkai. When I graduate, Adal Imaharin, Anku Adal 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 Shagay, it has already been exhausted. When I go to Korea, the graduates, Congratulations. Makoresa. Markalawat. The mission is accomplished. Lakin Hadiman Wada the Rada had the Belawi San O Ah Jamaat Scholat Yu Habrashid Arada. Marko Hakura Jenya Kulgin e the Mantin Khair Yo Gul Yfrahat. Wasalam alaikum to live regard. The Columbus Zoo and Aquarium? The Buckeye Ranch. The Ohio State University College of Social Work. All right. Thank you. I don't work for the College of Social Work. But I'm Abdulmai. I'm the first Somali social worker from the Ohio State University. So, on behalf of College of Social Work of the Ohio State University, I congratulate the graduates of 2017 and their families. Go Buckeyes! Thank you. The Ohio State University Center for African Studies. Focus Learning Academy. I just want to say, I don't know Somali, sorry, I would. This guy will speak Somali for you. I'm the principal of Focus Academy. I just want to say congratulations to everyone. Graduating, it's a big deal, okay? Everybody give them a big round of applause. <clears throat> Assalamu alaikum. Focus Learning Academy. Wah school ke kelia, eh Islamalu tu leh dah hai ayuh ku mamulan, eh kecil magara dan kolombos, mereka hawaii wah kalau malu betul betul orang yang kanan buih cugan, mereka school ke sana nak kelir wakil ban wakil kan hai, eh adi adi bau mesin ti. Columbus Department of Neighborhoods. You know, I'm not going to come back to speak, but as the mayor says, the neighborhoods, neighborhoods, neighborhoods. <laughs> Many neighborhoods, one Columbus. 
Denison University. Assalamu alaikum. Good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you so much, and congratulations to all the graduates. I want to take this opportunity to tell you there's a lot of love here for The Ohio State University, and I, I love The Ohio State University as well. But um, for those of you who are in high school, um, think about liberal arts. We heard some good words about liberal arts from Hoden about um, taking courses that you can be passionate about and really uh, raise critical uh, thinking questions. Uh, Denison offers that kind of education. Um, and we have a new program called the Columbus Alliance uh, program, which offers 188, I think it's the total, $188,000 in scholarships, full scholarships for students from Columbus Public Schools. So um, the deadline for Applying for that for juniors in high school is October. So I would really encourage you to, to think about liberal arts colleges as well as The Ohio State University. But congratulations to everyone. Thank you. Thank you. United Way of Central Ohio. International Academy of Columbus. Zenith Academy. I'll keep moving. Uh, Menemo Middle School. Franklin County Children's Services. Enhanced Home Health. The Somalian Students Association of The Ohio State University. Hi, hello. My name is Shukri Ahmed, and I am the Outreach Coordinator for the Somali Student Association at The Ohio State University. And today I'm accepting the award on behalf of the Somali Student Association. So you guys have already met our president. We do have two other board members here today. That would be Abdullahi Mohammed, our fundraising chair, and Joe Farah, our marketing chair, and our lovely photographer, Mustafa Askar. <laughs> so, the Somali Student Association, our purpose is um, we serve as an organization to meet the academic and the cultural needs of the Somali population at The Ohio State University. As an academic and cultural student org, SSA serves the needs of hundreds of Somalis at, sorry, at The Ohio State University and its surrounding community. It is a place where young people can thrive academically through our programs, which include mentorships, fundraising. Um, we also do have study abroad programs and so much more. Many SSA members have gone on to pursue multiple degrees in medicine, in law school, and other graduate programs. And these students look forward to making a real difference in their communities, both here and back home. The pursuit of higher education has led to several local Fulbright students, in addition to other graduates who do make a difference in our local community. Um, so if I know a lot of people are also asking about the pictures. If you want to learn more about SSA, you can always go ahead and look at us. We are available on Facebook and on Twitter at SSA underscore Ohio State University. Thank you for accepting us today. No Instagram? I ain't on Instagram. I'm told that's what the kids like better than Facebook these days. Finally, the Twinkle Star Child Care Center. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Halim Abdanasir Umar, and I am here to accept the award um, on behalf of Twinkle, Char Twinkle Star Child Care Center. Um, good luck to you in pursuing your dreams. Um, whether you guys want to become doctors, lawyers, teachers, or start your own businesses, I am wishing you luck. Thank you. So again, I want to thank all the sponsors and for those graduates, I hope you appreciate just how much our community cares about you, not only at City Hall, but as you saw from the diversity of sponsors. Uh, this community wants you to succeed, wants you to reach your goals, and so wherever we can be helpful, uh, don't hesitate to speak up, uh, speak out. Thank you so much for the opportunity to be here, and again, thank you to all the sponsors. Thank you. Okay, thank you. 
Now we move on to the most exciting part of the, of, of the evening. That's the selection of the 2017 scholarship recipients. So we have those two balls. One has all the names of the boys, one all the names of the girls. And we will select five from each at random. I would like to call on the names of every student so that if you have not registered, you can still get the opportunity to write down your name and with the Somali Students Association. So Fatuma Hassan, if you, didn't hear, if you do not hear your name and you graduated, please let us know. Noura Ali, Fatuma Daher, Hawa Hassan, Istahil Ali, Nima Mohammed, Farhia Diriye, Sahra Mohammed, Najma Abdirashid Jama, Saadiyo Mohammed, Mahmoud, Fahima Aden, Ayan Mohammed, Fardos Abdi, Sabrin Hassan, and Hamdi Yusuf in terms of the girls, as well as Saudi Yusuf. Those are the girls we have. Now, for the boys, we have Mohammed Yaqub, Farhan Ahmed, Muhyiddin Noor, Khalid Ali, Guled Hassan, Abdirrahman Ali, Abdullahi Muhammad, Ahmed Farah, and Abdi Fatah Mose. Is there any 2017 graduate from high school who, whose name has not been mentioned? Yeah. You don't have your name? What's your name? Yasir Muhammad. Okay. Uh, Hamza, can you get the names, please? I don't have, I don't have blank papers. Okay, any, anyone from the girl's side? You don't have your name? Okay. Okay, uh, Hamzi, you can, you can come here and I can, we, I mean, if you, your name is not in there, can you come to the front and get your name written down? So, we will have this, we will give this to this side of the, of the aisle, and somebody will fold the names. Somebody will pick the names at random and give it to somebody else, and that someone would read out the name of the winner. You will get five from this list, so take it to the corner. And we'll do the same on this side as well. We're waiting for those names to arrive. Now, is I, in order for somebody to win, they must be here. If your name comes up and you're not available, then we'll go to the next person. Lose yeah, you lose the scholarship if you're not here. You have to be here to win. Yeah, this side is for girls. These men are going to be announcing all the girls. And this group will be announcing all the, girl, all the boys. So if you are a boy and your name gets announced here, there's a problem. <laughs> if you are a girl and your name gets announced here, there's a problem. <laughs> yeah, so let's go. Ayan Mohammed from Westland High School. Ayan, come to the front. Please come here. Uh, this side. Oh, you're, you're, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna finish one side or? Yeah. Okay, let them finish. Let them get their five. <laughs> okay. Ayan, how can you Fahima Aden from Westland High School. Congratulations.
Hamdi Yusuf from Columbus Alternative. Hamdi Yusuf from Columbus Alternative. As a third, I need five, two more. Fardosa Abdi from Westland High. Fardosa Abdi from Westland High School. Uh -huh. Yeah, the last from the girl side. Fatima Dahir from OSU. Fatima Dahir from Okay, so those are the girls. Now decide. It's your turn. You mix them. Yeah, okay. Okay. From? Mohammed Ibrahim from Central Crossing High School. Just here. Ahmed Farah, Central Crossing High School. <laughs> Mohammed Yaqub, lots of Central Crossing High Schools. Mohammed Yaqub. Mohammed Yaqub. Noor Central Crossing High School. <laughs> you must have recited something, guys. Uh huh. Okay. Last but not the least, Khalid Ali Licken Heights High School. Last, not the least, the student. So these 10 was selected, uh, selected at random. Each one receives a scholarship of $500. No strings attached. Nothing is expected from you. You can do whatever you want. Pass it on. Pass it on. Think of somebody else. Do something good, somebody that you're not expecting anything in return. Now, there is one student who earned a scholarship based on merit. That's the student with the highest GPA in the room. Please give a hand to Saudi Yusuf of Horizon High School. Saudi <laughs> graduated with a GPA of 4.48. So the wins a scholarship for one thousand dollars. Congratulations. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. An wa Horsed Aini, o ah director ka Masjid Abu Bakr. An runti wa hanu farah sanay hafladan qima ha badan o sanat ki sidedat gashay. Inta kadi buhan rawa ina dul istago ahmiyad wa habar shada wa habar shada ama aqantu wa furaha haru marka. أمد هرم ريكرتا مشرتو هدي أنا يشيل كسوق عيا وحبرشوا أنا حلا برين حبرشوا دو حكور استاكتا نشيل كن هذا السوق كريا أما دانيرة الجودة حكور استاكتا 
إن أيكو كعان فللك حن حن إن يسميان تشويسس كحن وحيكو جوبا بسا إن النقدان أبحي أما ميره ودم كودو أيكو سنة هاي نسيت درتيد والدين توحن مرول بكو جوبا بنا هدي عن ربنا إن أنا هرو مرنا بالشأهان قوم يذهان دلهان قرنهان إن فرها سيوي هاي فرها وحبر شدنا وأنا مدو إلى هاي نوت المامي مكو قرآن كيس وجوه الرئيسية عيدا إقرا آخر سيد درت الوالدين توحن ليه هاي أردي كل جي مال ما جارو هدي أنا هو يجرب استعجن بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أنا أنا محمد حجادن حنشارن لاين عن هالكان دار فريم وتقدره مدو كوادو حوي وحنادو مهدعين لها بروسر جبريل وعرفه هان صواب أقولي وحن سكن ده لها أن والدين ت أنا مال قلنا عروت النظر عروتنا دانو مال قلنا وحكنا دارنا هي نعرف عن نقدان ثار وحنده لها وارد كحلا صعد عروتي سا مر البوجوجو مر البمرايا يا حالة دي سا مدة سكول كا يا مدة كلابا يا مدة برشاد حيدا وكلية هاي وحنسدو كلاد نقوم هذا عندنا كوميونيتي أورجانس رضا على هذا كتيرة وعرفنا كم شخصان وهم هالسنتين السلام عليكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وحفر حد نوعه إن سنة كيس ديداد أن أود بلدي إنه قالين جبنتا دالين يرد الصوماليات يا كبه حيدك سيادة صراء جامعة ذاها قبل كوهايو حفلة دام حال بلاب سنة كلا بكون يتبانكي سنة دول بو حلود بلدي يا أرضي ذا كبه حيدك سيادة صراء أرضي ذا كبه حيد جامعة ذاها ويسكر ليه نرد ذا سنة بسنة كقدم بيا والدين تا معلمين تا مع ملاياشة دوق مجال ذا مع ملك بلدك إن بلشت ورن أيها السوت ماذا وضع عشيسة أرض ذوهم بليسة دقة وحبر الشسيسة كوي طبعا أرض يبقى سنة دول بلاسية سنة ذا قارن ويكبدينين إلى هذا بقول أرض كبدا بوحلس دقة وحبر شو مركا رنتي آد بنوف رح سنة هاي أنا كهذا اللي مجا سومالي كان نوحان لي هاي رنتي هوشان هول شرف وين نوع أو ماركتي عن عن ماركتي هرم مروين بلشت يعني كلام بس وجوه رصد نيويان بلشتون ويكون مع سنتا سيد أقرب استاك البرنامج كان سيد اللي سوقي يمد لوجس وقيب قلي لوجو دماشة هذا اللي يرضي كقلين جبي سيدك سيدا لوجو بابي يكون أو اللي قلين جبنين كوا جامعة ذا قلي إنتي صار نقدين أي كوي كلا ولا هذلين كوا شقوين كهلي ووين إنتي صار لابتن أي ولا هذلين كوي يرير كها وارنتي فرصة لو بهي هي ما دام قرب اللي جوجو إن اللي يرضي اللي سكو حرو أي كلا ور هيان أي سوقادان أي تشي يسكو ده يشوف في عن لهذان أرين تاسن كشقيني إني أد بنا وفرح سنة هوشان وحنو ما دعيلني نادمان ده كهوشان جرب تاجن وله جنا عصته سوماليات يجنا عصته كلبا وله جامعة ذو أي كم تاج جامعة ذو هاي ستيد جامعة دينيسون إيوه هيا ده كلو أدو فر بدن مقالة ذا كولومبس إيوه إيوه دوق هذا إيوه أخيارته دمان هوشان كجرب جيسته وكجيب قادته أد بنا وقوم هدعيلني نا وحن لنا هاي أرضي ذا هم بليو وحن لنا هاي والدين تو ذا هم بليو وحن رجعنا قالوا هاي بالك مراكز كحيرة ذا كومنسمنت مركي أرضي وقلين جبينيو معناه ذو بلاو حد ذو حد بلاو ذا أرضي أو إن وح برشاد يدحك قشو صفي عنو دحك قشو مركي دوك سرعة كبحضو وأنا الجامعة قشو وأنا ضهري وصعتو وأنا الحرفة براتو وحن كوجو بابين إن أرضي ذو إن الحرفة ذاها ساينس كيو إنجينيرنج كيو لاير نمضة كيو دكتور نمضة كيو مادوين كشقوين كلوجه لو معناه عليه إن برتان بكوجو بابين إن إنا هو مرسى ما ينبغي كوجورنا كوجوبابين إنا دل كان المراكن كي دل كان الصومالي لبضة بإنا مارك تجرب استعجان ومستقبل كو مستقبل إف هي قصة ما ين أيان كرجين إنا أدم أوقف رحسنا هو مرك أرضي ذا أدم أوجوبابين إنا أبو جادين إنا وحن الرجين إنا إن شاء الله تعالى مستقبل كاني هو جان كن مستقبل كاني يهين أي شقبة ضنا قبل دوران أي هيرن إزجارسين دوران دل كي دت كنا أي مال وقصو بيه دوران السلام عليكم. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وحن سلام يا رمان سومال ذا ملك ستي جوجان مقعي وامر الشيخ أحمد and وحن عاوز سوق إيماني حلفة أو لو قلت لك لي المها كسو graduate grade high school كا أو هذا يا جامعة إن حلفة داس أو لوسينا scholarship and أنا جا وحن أشقى بنجي fifth third and بنجي جاس أو آه بنجي كليا أو سومال community support grade and وحن كفر حسن هاي عاوز أنا جا employee آه أو شقة ذي ذكر سعود scholarship سين إن المها سوماليات at same time إن إنهم community support grade نيو and again وحن هاي سومال ذا إن كولومبوس جوكتو congratulations and I hope إن 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 عن next year سيدان وكل إسكو أرجونو سلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وعشرة في عينك صغير بقول حفلة ده إن قلنا شبين تبدأ نجرا ده هاي سكول كعبة هذي أولاد يارنا هاي إن أهدان سكول شيء بيهلان 
وعرنتي مهمات قارة لأن يدل يرد الدلالة يان وردون تنا يحلو بوين سكسارة مركب عن كبر رتوينا إن يصدق يكسعدان كسعدان وعنا لا هنبليو السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مقعي وعبد القادر علي عبدي كم قاعد يرحورك وحنكسر قريب لنا حفلة لو تبلتقي أردنا كم أحد هاي سكولك جلوبك هاي مقالة كولومبوس وصلنا كيس جارات السكولي ماذا حفلة دان وحامل مدن قبلها قبلها يويلي شكا بحاجة هاي سكول كاسين شرب لنا كورة ميسي سلام مركزنا وحنا أمبلي وجدنا نوالد كيس سوبر باري عروتان سي متقانا ونكسنا وحصو باري أردنا وصلنا وحنكو برا رجنينا هنا يسي وتن تعلين توه يسون كوي كان هاي سكول أكلية سوبتو هذا أي بلا وتو تدي دارد أو متقانا وحبر شدة والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هل كان هناك سلام يا دمان كسوق بجلاش حفلة دمان تي وسوق جراء ضد شعبة ضد أقوي همينا يا ضد محان كل هاي واحد ونيد جرينا سدوا كل واحد حلك رجعهم بلين يا دمان أرد هذا إن قلن جب السيو وسوق جراء قبل أي ويل كوا صدى هذا يرد ما شاء الله هذا مو فرحى وحن هل كان كجود بنا يا رسالة يا رأوت ترى جلاد دنيا رد جراجو يتكلم نسا يكوا كم عذاه دجان عيبا إن برشاد وشيء مهمة إن إله القرآن كسوق كل هل يستوى الذين الذين يعلمون والذين لا يعلمون ما هو حاسم كوا أقوان تلا يكون أنا أقوان تلهن لو عن أقوان قفل وكده وين هذا كلا علم وحكومة رسالة يعني لو نجح حياته إن ما شاء الله يعني متطورة مركب وحلا برت هريها الله سعد أنا وحاسد وقت كأرضي جاءها إن ديارنا يي بكالوريوس ك وحن هذا ودن السودان على ده إسلام ركع ودن كاس هذا أي لقد عربي جماعة أنا أقول ما جرنا واحد لقد هبي أيان ربع مركع وحيجو أت ويجو أت كاتين عن ودن كل قبسة كا الحمد لله إلا أن كجار الدكتورة درجة بيه شديد قالوا يقانو ودن كاس نيجا أقبلن ووانكسر نجاحي تدل فربدن كدي مركع قف كسر وحن ليا هاي وحبر الشذا هلقد دل هرينا هلاص عدا وأنا إن السلام يا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. أنا جو صفية تسمع وحن لها مبروك أن مبروك هوينك هويوينك سومالية دي سود دالي إلمه دي قلن شبين. إن إينك استوى مركلة يدي والدين تا أي عروت إنت هذا بدني كل جودة هاين وأنا والد لس عنين هذا نوع حن لها هاي. إلهي محن كده هذا إنها مجينا هاي دين هاي دين رومايو دخاتيرتي إيه معلمينتي إيه مدحوين ياشي مستقبل كا ومضى سوماليات باتهين وحردين لها هاي الدلالة إلهي هاي دين لقبتها وين كسوماليات إيه أبياش سوماليات يسود الدلالة عروته دقل إن شبيسي إيه مانته هل كان سكول شب أيكو هلينا وحن لها هاي يجنا إن محن كده هذا كونكراتيليشن السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام عليكم مقعي وصفية فارح أنا كم إذا كوميت كولومبس أوهايو and the parent of the Columbus Ohio وحان هل كان ربريسنت إنه أهي قلوا إنتاج مركو حويان إن واحد وقعد تان استودن كستو مقالنا نجوجي ملك استيادونك هدان إنه هو يأما أبان الدوس عن وحويان ويدب كذا الله يذه مركا إن إن عاد كمينت أعطاي عاد كسو قيب قشيد مهمة ديدا مهمة محيطة هدان عيال كينا أنا نقد الدوس عن وسبورت أنا ويلين وملك استيادي تجان الله تجين وحبك مهرينه مركو حدو قاتا استودن كستا وما أنت كوبا قلنا جبي كم مديهين يستودن هرم مرجاري والد باك دمبيا والد الآن تينا وأبار مركو حدو قاتا المها الله سبورت قريا الله صور راعو أنا وكهد ليو كوميد أوف أوها كولومبس أوهايو وحن لي هاي كونغراديليشن تو كلاس 2017 يوم حن لدها حن لدها ما نو نكس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين and ما أنت فرح دويان and congratulating the Daniela Westiga Khasatan and congratulations once again. Inshallah, waharwa ani magadi mihi dotko manta wahak khati. Like waharwa ardidan, mashallah, or manta khalin jibse or wal din to the kafrahiyan. Ina magadi, inshallah, nukdan dot or din to the dalko di dotko the wahu tar. Inshallah, or magadi wahyalaha. لو هايستين ما عادي سو جود بيان أي واحد برشود كده ده لإن شاء الله and congratulations to all the West Happy. السلام عليكم. آه واحد كفر حتنا ولا الله ذي الدنيا ما ت لعقتا شن بقول هذا. and كوا ب كوا بدن كان يسكون لنا هاي. آه واحد كله إلا أنت هاي سكولنا ما يستا كولتش قبل لا بسين إلى هاي نقعد. آه وين كنا سوا زعوسي. مقعي واحد اسماعيل علي محمد واحد عادي هذا كفر حتنا هاي ما أنت هناك سو قيب قلني. آه event لو قلت لك لإن يا رضا. كان معدل دم دمي هاي سكوكا 
سنة كلا بكون يتدوب طبعا لأن يا رب ضم بعكس وقيب قلي وحلو جفر حواي سكالا شبس على جب بحي ماشى شن بقول الدور طبعا عروة لسي شن ويل إيش شن قبرد با مركب وحاد وجفر حني واي مركب وحارم أنا دير قلي إنه برا رجلنا لأن يا رب إنه وحبر شده حوق سعرهن وحاد لجفر حواي إيفنتي عن واس ديس إنه سعتي سنة كسر على قبتها مركب وحارم أنا نكسي أنا صلاة بتو لأن يا رب نبى تانش هاي سكول كبحيا مركب عاد بقول دير قلي إنه لأن يا رب وحبر شده حوق سعر وحبر تنا أدي هذا ما سنتين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين مرحبا يا حلا محمد كافي وحكم إذا هاي دلنا هذا كنا المقال هذا كلهم بصهايو ووو أبو بلان مركي دنا عوح برشدة مركو حربي هنا كهلا وحير مهمة ده وح برشدة اللي هذا هاي وح برشدة سا وقت رنتي سا وقت إنه وح برشدة وح 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 مهمة ده اللي هذا هاي وحويه إن تنكليه ولوجاري كرا إن إن لوجاري كرا سكسس إن وح لا برتا the key to success is only the only key to success is education إن هدا إن كوسو هدا كوسو هدا إيدين سو قبل قبل يا حلق سا إيدين سو قادني يا نندل يا راه أيا هو يسكيري إكتوسي بري صلاة الصبح كدب سي علبي وصدونتا أسقي شيخ أسقي وذات كي معلك كيسا ديستنس أود الحين شري ديستنس كمرك معلك كدب بوحو قانكو قاري إنه قفكو بسهر أي نقطة ما بين كمر ما ما صبح كدب ما مركو يمادي دكسي جو كحرن واركي بوحو داي ساعات دانو أسوق عاي هدا نم إن دكسي جو ويجحرن جاي مارك سام مخب مس كني سوير هذي مارك وحير هذي قد يريسو أركي مالكو يا الله قد كيو كجلي قد كيسو مال ده حاسو مرايا أيام مارك وحو بر أيام قبستي نكي دنيا ده ها بر تي مارك قبستي لفتي سيد داو عجارشي سهيلب كي سيد داو عجارشي سي عنو جم حس ماي هرو هرو سكو توري الميرو ها ماشي دكسي يسوع ده حجلي دكسي جم مارك سوا ده حجلي إمام مدي سو قاتي لقط كحرتي لين كوا ده فرشتي هادو لين كوا ده سو كجرم معلن كيسي أوي ما ذي وحكوي رأي محاكو داعي شكدي وشكدي مركو وحكو داعي علم سمسر سمسر دونن وحكوي رأي قبل جا كوي رنا قرا أكتب كوي رأي وحكوي رنا قر مرك قبل يروس ويري أرنت آدو قيمة بدن قبل جا سو آه إن في عربي كوب حياة في عربي هذا يجين سو قبل قبل يجين كوب سو شديه وحش وحشيجا يا دببت للميت وسعون قد بلغوا جهد النفوس وألقوا دونه الأزرة وكابد الميت حتى ملاقتهم وعانق الميت من وافى ومن صبر لا تلعق الميت تمرا أنت أكله لن تبلغ الميت حتى تلعق صبرا رنت قبل قبل حكاه الله يا وحبرشده مهمة دلالة هاي نك كلمة دو كوي رادو حكم دها إن هؤم لين جوش تمر مال سكت على عنو يسيد ومر كارت السوق هذا نسيد قول مجاري سيد يري إلا وح خرار وح خرار على اللي مسيد خرار كنا محل وحكم إذا قيل هذا كل هذا عصبي حكلا يسيد جاس كو جاري كا جوسنا وحصلنا وحكم تهاي إن وحبر شد اللي بعتد اللي هذا هاي يصبر كذا قف كنا رمت هدوس يصبر لهن قول مجاره مركد اللي يرد مال كستو يجوان وحكولة تلني يا إني ماركتي أي وحبر شد كفا يستان قيل هذا لو قيلنا يا وحصلنا إنه صبران لأنه مرها أي مرها ما أنت أود بالدقي إني دلني يردي ما أنت لسيني شهادوين كدلني يرو حيها إن هاي سكول كبحي ورنتي مرها كميونتي كدلني يرد الصوماليات مركب واحد برتان ومرها ودن كأدي دونا وودن كبحوس وبابول دونا إنت سايد كوكسو جبجبيني يا جزاكم الله خير السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته